Smartphone powered VR headsets may provide fun views, but they've lacked true interactivity. Devices like Google Cardboard and Samsung's Gear VR haven't offered an actual controller. That changes with Google's new VR headset, Daydream View. As with the competition, the Daydream View's processing power and screen are handled by a smartphone. So far, it's only compatible with Google's new Pixel Android phones. In the future, Google says Daydream View and its controller will work with flagship phones from Samsung, Huawei, LG, and others. There's a gyroscope, accelerometer, and other sensors in the controller. It uses Bluetooth to communicate its position and your button presses to the phone. The controller also has a trackpad so you can navigate menus and control characters. In the game Wonderglade, I use the controller as a putter to play mini golf. In Google Street View app, I use the controller to choose where to jump in 360 degree scenes. Mechorama gives you puzzles you have to move around to solve. The controller becomes a wand for you to point and click where you want to go. Sure, the controls and the immersiveness on more expensive and sophisticated PC and console VR systems are better, but the phone powered Daydream View costs only 80 bucks, and you don't have a funny cable sticking out the back of your head. It's lighter, more comfortable, and less expensive than Gear VR, and the part that touches your face is removable so you can wash it. There are downsides. VR will kill your phone's battery quickly, and while it's comfy, the Daydream View can feel like it's going to slip off your face during action packed games. Google says there will be 50 remote-friendly Daydream View apps and games by year's end. But that's still far fewer than the 150-plus apps and games found on Gear VR. And of course, Daydream won't work with iPhones. Despite its limitations, Daydream View is still the best smartphone-powered VR experience so far.